So our client came to us with a 90s townhouse. Um, it was quite dark. It had a lot of distractions. Um, and uh, the client, I guess, was looking to um, have quite a light space that looked felt very clean. The existing conditions had low doors, the ceiling felt quite low, it was very dark, dark flooring, a Balinese style garden where no natural light was able to venture in. Um, and so we approached this house by looking at what we could take away in the beginning and what we could do to minimise the distractions on the eye so that we could give the eye somewhere to rest. So coming through the front door, the idea was that you would always have access to natural light. So we've allowed the stairs to remain open with the risers and there is always a view through to the outdoors which has been designed by Kelly Royal Landscape Architecture. The kitchen has been opened up into the main living space, allowing for um, dinner at the island bench. All of the appliances are integrated so that everything looks clean. The storage wall being full length of the room allows for a lot of space for the family to keep items, but what we have done is allow for an open area where you can display items. So we replaced the glazing that you see behind me. The existing glazing was three mil and we've replaced it with safer, more thermally efficient glazing. Um, when the three sliding doors behind me open up, it connects to the landscape architecture and the landscape architect work quite hard in creating a continuous access into their design. We readjusted the, I guess, the spatial planning of upstairs so that one of the bedrooms aligned then with the remainder of the, the petitions. Um, in doing that, we ex extended the landing in such a way that we could create a study in, within that space. The, the, the desk also then cantilevers across the courtyard, which eventually the, the tree will grow up and become a, a spot, you know, become a moment within the architecture that you can uh, reflect, I guess. <laughs> so we extended the master bedroom out towards the landing. Um, in doing this, we could add in a walk-in wardrobe we could rationalise the size of the bedroom and also rationalise the ensuite so that as to take out the angles and to have a more um, to have a more efficient space. I think for me, the big idea when I look at this space or when I think about the brief that we were given from the client was really about being white and clean and easy to maintain. Um, in doing that, we looked to Scandinavian design and certainly Japanese design to, um, as an influence. So speaking to the client, they mentioned that they now love coming home. They love the light within the space and the way that it makes them feel. And they love the space so much that they now find themselves eating out less and wanting to be here at home. 